first up, Mel's on the right track. Cycling is one of the most popular activities at Sydney Olympic Park, with almost a million riders coming through every year. So get on your bike and see what everyone loves about it. If you own a bike, then BYO. If you don't, there's Bike Hire, where Tim will set you up with some very nice wheels. Where can you ride and how far? Yeah, so you can cover all of Sydney Olympic Park and it's over 35 kilometres of track. Do you have to do it all in one day? You don't have to do it all in one day. No. <laughs> Good. And don't forget to wear a lid. See you a bit later on. Yep, see you in a couple of hours. Like Tim said, there are 35 kilometres of track to ride. But there's no chance of getting lost because you can get a map that shows you all the major bike tracks. So you can stick to one or you can mix them up. I think I mixed them up. <laughs> Riding around the Olympic Park landmarks is a lot of fun and really easy going. But if you want to hit the tracks feeling, well, all kind of Olympic, make Bella Panini Bar your first drink station. Coffee. And we all know where there's a coffee shop in Sydney. There's a cyclist. The usual, thanks. Well done, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. The paninis are delicious. The coffee's the perfect heart starter. And the cake selection is staggering. And just next door, Park Bikes can help you out with any maintenance issues if you're riding your own bike or help you choose a new one. And to make sure you choose the right bike, take a ride on this. The Precision Fitter. How am I looking then? Are we good? Am I efficient? Am I powerful? Your left leg's a little bit stronger than your right. <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, I know how to fix that. More riding. And I've buddied up with the Chesterton family. Families love the tracks at Bicentennial Park. The water fountains around the viewing platform are super cool. And even better on bikes. It's sometimes hilly, but for every pedal uphill, there's a downhill reward. And if it's a hot day, head for the shade of the mangroves. It's so easy to get to and it's nice and safe for the kids and the bike paths and we ride past all the Olympic uh, stadiums and everything else and then you've got all the lakes and the, and the green fields. So, yeah. There's so many different places to go with the kids so we can go a different way every time through the mangroves or up around their 20 kilometre loop around the foreshore or through the fountains. The kids love it and we love to get out and about with them. It's great. Now, if you and your bike want to ramp it up, Sydney Olympic Park's home to the Monster Skate Park and the Monster Cross Track. It puts up a challenge. I know, because I've done it. But today, Lake Belvedere does it for me. And the best thing about not covering all 35 kilometres of track in one day means there's plenty more to explore next time. Now, let's reward ourselves. Coffee was a great way to start the ride, but in the end, it's got to be ice, ice cream! <laughs> Step on it and steer your way to Sydney Olympic Park for some cycling action. Visit sydneyolympicpark.com.au forward slash cycling.